last night on Four Corners, they were telling us about the worst thing that's ever happened in the AFL. And I rushed home to watch it because, of course, the worst thing that's ever happened in the AFL is that the Crows were robbed <laughs> oh, not on the again. weekend and they didn't that. get that again. point. Can and worse than Piers Morgan. Swans. You're so a bigger sook than I was, Piers. I was really looking forward to seeing the expose on the ABC about this, but instead when I got home I saw something about there's not enough gay people in the AFL. Take a look. The AFL's last taboo. I was disgusted, I was embarrassed, and I was hurt. It's absolutely a human rights issue that no one's openly gay within the AFL. Four Corners. It's a human rights issue. Now, it is indeed true that there was no one openly gay within the AFL, but perhaps people within the AFL don't particularly feel the need to talk about their sexuality. They're just getting on with the job. And, of course, the AFL has pride round every year, and I believe this year it actually took up two rounds. So you can't argue that the AFL is not outwardly making it very clear that it has no issue with gay people or any other LGBTIQ, whatever, to the point where the Sydney Swans, of course, my nemesis, as I just said, put out this cringeworthy offering earlier in the year. We are I mean, I'm not terribly sure what that is, to be perfectly honest. But again, I make the point, at least they've made some effort to participate in Pride, but it's terribly homophobic, the AFL. And, of course, we can't forget Danny Laidley, formerly Dean Laidley, now a transgender woman, former AFL coach, who has been embraced by the AFL and its brethren since coming out as transgender. What a ridiculous assertion by Louise Milligan, our great friend at the ABC, <laughs> uh, at Four Corners to try and say that the AFL is in some way homophobic or repressing this the, is a human rights the, the issue. gayness of players. Do, you, do really? you know how many complaints they've had from gay players that it's a discriminatory environment or that they've been bullied? No, tell me. Zero. Whoa! So, so there's no issue here. The only issue, the human rights issue, is that no gay players want to talk to Louise Milligan. And can you blame them? The media... This is almost predatory behaviour. They want someone to come out. And you're dealing with young people who are still trying to find themselves in life, let alone in football, who maybe just don't want to be defined by their sexuality. Yeah, it's just they want to be defined by their business. football. What happened to don't ask, don't tell? Like, if someone is gay, how is that the rest of the world's what does it matter? business? Maybe they, like the rest of us, just want to be left alone, don't want to advertise, make a song and dance about our sexual preferences. Yeah. Period. And it's actually very refreshing. Yeah.